What's up guys, Law with Hollywood First Look here at the world premiere for Kung Fu Panda 4, coming out in theaters on March 8th. The stars are expected to arrive, including Jack Black and Aquafina, so hopefully we get to talk to them. And don't forget, Skadoosh. Let's take a first look. In the first movie, we talk about a secret, the secret ingredient yeah. that makes the recipe work. Correct. And it's nothing. That's it's right. You make something special because it That's is special. Right. To you, what is the secret ingredient to Kung Fu Panda 4? Secret ingredient to Kung Fu Panda 4 is finding a new level of spirituality, releasing the ego and concentrating on what's important. Friendship, love, and peace. Peace. What's really special is that if you watch the end of the third movie, mm -hmm. Master Ugwe actually tells Poe, you are truly my chosen successor. And so that actually teed us up perfectly for Kung Fu Panda 4, because Poe needs to take Ugwe's place as the next spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. So this is going to bring on a whole new slew of challenges for Poe, and we're very excited for everyone to watch it. It's the people, it's the, it's the actors, the artists, getting to work with him over and over again. Uh, it's the people, hundreds of people, who come together to make a movie like this is incredible. I think that's true. People put their heart into it, and they're called CG movies as if the computer makes them. And in a world, I know we're afraid of AI taking all of our jobs, but this is still, people are still making this movie. Maybe computers help, but it still has its artisans, its artists, its writers, directors, everyone putting their their spirit into it. I think see, changing that as an ending as a beginning, to see it as the next step to the next adventure. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's what I think the real heart and soul of this thing's about. So can I assume that you have some other ideas brewing up for continuing the franchise? I always have ideas. <laughs> How should we do this? Quick and painless? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or slow and painful? Slow and Aquafina's character, that fox. Yeah. I got this for her, and I'll oh, give it cute. to her. It's yeah. a fox. It's Fuzzy like a little den there. Yeah. yeah. I love it. I think that she steals from me. She's a thief. Gotcha. So I, I'll get her. The main focus was between Poe and this new fox character, Jen. But part of the theme is about embracing change. And, and for Poe to be able to embrace that he's the new spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace, mm -hmm. there was that connection between him and Master Shifu and Master Ugwe. And of course, they all have this powerful connection with Tai Lung, who was the first villain in the first movie. Um, and and so for you know for Tai Lung to to like come back to this movie and to and to finally acknowledge that that you know that Master Ugwe and 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 also Master Shifu made the correct decision yeah. meant a lot to Poe and so it uh, hopefully means a lot to the audiences as well. Well, he brings the same enthusiasm. I feel like what's changed in him and, and in all of us is that we were younger when we started. Like we were felt like the kids and now we're parents, Jack's a parent, so, and Poe is in this movie and a, a little bit of a parent as much as he can be. Yeah. So, and our audience started, kids are now older and it's, in a way, it's Poe growing up and all of us growing up and how you take on new roles and the student becomes the teacher is kind of the, at the heart of this. Well, I think that's the whole point. You know what I mean? Like, get them out of the safe space. Like, I, I, we have these perfect things. We can't mess with this. Yeah. So, like, okay, what do you do? Why is this not just another one? Yeah. So, for me, the kind of the big uh, idea of it was like, hey, he has to move on from being Dragon Warrior. And I thought, though, like, again, well, a lot of us grew up with Poe, yeah. you know, and it's tough to change. Yeah. And I thought, kind of, it, this is something that kind of resonates with all of us. You know what I mean? From kids going from like a you know, third grade to uh, fourth grade to us dealing with you know life changes. So I just, I don't know. I thought that was important. Yeah. And I, I really like that. So I, I, I hope it builds off of what's already there. Because man, the films are amazing. The journey of the first movie where Poe is an underdog, a, a, a guy with a dream who is not really equipped to make that dream come true is resonated with so much with, with audiences because which one of us doesn't feel insecure sometimes. And then the problem as you go on these movies, Poe becomes more and more the dragon warrior. He can do anything he wants. And it was important to kind of reset back to square one in a way on this fourth movie. Let's put Poe in a situation where he can, he's on his back foot a little bit. He doesn't know what to do. He's now, he's now the Shifu to, to a new Poe. And it, it felt like a lot of comedy is going to come from putting a character in a situation where they just are going to fail a lot and hopefully fail funny. And that is a wrap at the world premiere for Kung Fu Panda 4. Don't forget the movie is in theaters this March 8th. We'll see you at the movies. It's Friday! You finally met your match, Chameleon. I mean, it's disturbing, but it's awesome.
Stand back. I'm gonna kick my butt. Dragon Warrior, your journey has come to an end. It's a... Excellent.